So Alan emailed in and wanted to know, hey, is this die off really a thing? And so in today's video, I'm going to help you understand what we're really looking at when people are talking about a die off or this Herxheimer reaction. Let's jump in. T.C. Hill is not a doctor and does not claim to be a doctor or licensed in any type of medical field. Don't be an idiot and use anything heard on the show as medical advice. This information should be used for educational purposes only and you should contact your doctor for any medical advice. Now get off me. So anytime someone's trying to correct some type of infection or some type of candida issue or something like that, and they're taking steps to improve what's going on with them and they feel a whole lot worse, then somebody's going to tell them, oh, you're having a die-off reaction, you're having a Herxheimer reaction, everything's going to be fine, you're going to feel worse before you feel better. And this is absolutely true, but you know, in some cases, a person might just be doing something that's wrong for their body chemistry. They might be taking a supplement or some type of natural remedy that is actually magnifying an imbalance that they're already having. So this is not always the case when somebody feels worse before they feel better. Sometimes a person is just doing something that's wrong for them and they're just making themselves feel worse. So that is absolutely a possibility. And just keep in mind that when I'm talking about this die-off or Herxheimer reaction, I'm talking about a reaction from a natural antimicrobial that a person might be using to kill off some type of infection. I'm not talking about antibiotics. There's a lot of studies out there that you can find very easily about reactions from antibiotics, and that can be a totally different thing. I'm not talking about antibiotics here. I'm, I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving you any type of medical advice. I just want to help Alan better understand what might be going on when a person is experiencing a, a die-off reaction. And it's also important to understand that that can be very different from person to person, and you'll understand that a little bit better as we talk more about what can actually create these reactions. So it appears to be very common for someone to be dealing with some type of infection, whether it's a digestive tract infection like an H. pylori or a candida or SIBO or something like that or some other type of infection. And it's very popular now to use natural antimicrobials like, you know, garlic and oregano and thyme and even things like D-limonene or even very natural things like just celery juice. You know, you can kill off a lot of bacteria in the stomach or small intestines using things like celery juice. So when people use these things, sometimes they'll have a reaction where they might experience more nausea or cramping or diarrhea or other digestive symptoms or even just feel like, hey, like I have a cold, like I'm just achy and tired and, and maybe I even have a fever. And so all of these things are not in your head. These are actual reactions that can come from killing off a large number of microorganisms that are inside the body. So to understand these types of reactions, we need to understand that a lot of the symptoms that we experience from these microorganisms come from the waste that these microorganisms are putting out or the toxins that they excrete or the, or the mycotoxins as many people call them. And a lot of times our reaction is just from those toxins that they're excreting. Like if you get a food poisoning issue, that's in like an acute issue where there's all of a sudden a big influx of new bad guys coming into the system and the, the symptoms that you experience a lot of times are just coming from the toxins that they're putting out. And when we kill off one of these microorganisms, even if we're not using an antimicrobial, even if it's just our immune system killing them off, a lot of times we kill them off by breaking them apart and then that makes it easier for the body to get rid of that waste, to get rid of the smaller pieces once it's, everything is kind of broken apart. And a lot of times the body will take toxins out of even our tissues and organs and other places and pull them into the bloodstream so that they can be removed from the body through either our sweat or our urine or our stool. So a lot of times that pulled into the bloodstream before it can be removed. And if a lot is being pulled into the bloodstream at once, that can really magnify how lousy we're going to feel, even if it's just the reaction from the immune system. And a lot of people believe that this immune system can react in similar ways to a live microorganism as it would to one that has already been killed. It's just the effort of removing that from the body that can take up a lot of resources that the immune system is using and kind of take away resources from what we would be using. That's why we kind of feel really tired when we're sick a lot of our resources and energy is going towards helping the immune system fight off this invader or remove it and its toxins from the body. So to give you a visual of why your symptoms could get worse before they got better in this scenario, let's just look at the, the situation where you have three or four zombies in your house. 
And it's common knowledge that zombies are flesh-eating zombies. So if they were eating flesh, they would create a waste product. Any organism that is consuming something is creating a waste. So a symptom of having these zombies in your house could be that you have to clean up zombie poop in your house all day. That would be a symptom that you would not enjoy. So if you wanted to take steps to get rid of this zombie cleaning up poop symptom that you're having in your house, Everybody knows you can do that trick where you just stick a hand grenade in the zombie's mouth and you pull the pin and that gets rid of your zombies. But if you're to do this hand grenade pin pull trick, get rid of the zombie move, you're going to create a much bigger mess. Now you're going to have a bigger mess that you have to clean up before that zombie problem is completely removed. So this is the same as when we're looking at these microorganisms, when we're killing off a lot, you know, they're putting out these toxins all the time, but when you kill them off, all those toxins are released immediately. So now there's a lot more toxins that the body has to kind of filter out. Now the level of the reaction that a person might have can vary greatly from person to person because it can be dictated by, first of all, how many microbes are in the system that need to be killed off and removed? What, what is the level of that infection going on? And also, how well is that person's body detoxing? How efficient are they at removing all of that metabolic waste from those killed off microorganisms? If the toxic load is very high, the body say, hey, I'm going to try and push some of these out through the pores in the skin. And then the pores get clogged up and we get this breakout or skin reaction or rash or some type of situation like that because the body's just trying to clear out some of these toxins any way that it can. So the liver makes this soapy substance called bile that's stored in the gallbladder and then it comes down and helps us digest our food and emulsify our dietary fats. But a lot of these toxins that the liver filters out will be put into the bile so that the, those toxins can be carried with the bile through the intestinal tract and out the back door when we poop like a champion. But it's very common today for someone's bile to become too thick and sticky to flow correctly and then those toxins aren't going out the back door. They get reassimilated and then the liver's got to filter them out all over again and then the system's becoming very toxic just on its own. So if this is the case for a person where their bile is not flowing and their body can't detox and they go and kill off a bunch of microorganisms and really increase that level of toxicity in the system all at once, well, the body's going to have a really hard time getting all those toxins out and any reaction that they experience is going to be greatly magnified. So for a lot of people, it is accurate that they may feel worse before they feel better. All of this is true, but that doesn't mean that you have to be this miserable human being for days or weeks or a month at a time just because you're having this die-off situation going on. One thing you could do is you could just slow your efforts a little bit. Be a little bit less aggressive at killing off all these bad guys. Kill them off a little bit slower and allow the body to catch up in its efforts to get rid of these toxins and help you feel a little bit better. And a lot of people also use activated charcoal, which is something you can get at pretty much any health food store. And a lot of people take this internally and the activated charcoal is great for helping these toxins kind of adsorb is what they call it. It's not absorbing the toxins, they're adsorbing and they kind of stick to it and then the charcoal can help carry those toxins out the back door a lot faster. I like to see people take this away from their food. It seems to be a little bit more effective that way. But this is a very popular way to kind of speed up the process of helping the body get these toxins out of the system. You can also take steps to make sure that your bile is flowing correctly so that the body has an easier way of getting rid of these toxins. Maybe a person can increase the amount of water that they're drinking and help the body wash some of these toxins out a little bit more effectively. Now, if a person already has low minerals in the system, maybe you have low blood pressure, um, and you're kind of showing signs of not having a lot of minerals in the system, you wouldn't want to go and drink a gallon of water just to wash out all the toxins because you're going to wash out all your minerals too and, and feel a whole lot worse too. So you just want to be reasonable in the steps that you take and you want to understand, yeah, I might feel a little bit worse while I'm doing this, but that doesn't mean you have to power through and be this miserable human being. You can slow your efforts a little bit and allow your body to catch up. So if you can do this, this die-off experience might be a little bit more tolerable for you. You know, another thing that you could do is you could jump over right now and check out our video on 10 signs of poor bile flow. And if you're seeing a lot of those signs for yourself, then you really want to take steps to thin out that bile so that it can flow better, so that the body can detox the way that it should and speed up that process of clearing everything out. Let us know how it goes.